I want to do a little video on the doctor's knife or pill buster knife or physician knife because they have multiple names for these. These are very, very cool. The pattern goes back to uh, 19th century stuff. Um, you know, back in the day when doctors used to actually make house calls and they brought their little doctor bag and their stethoscope around their neck and, you know, old timey doctors, not doctors today. Um, talking about back when it was a necessity to, uh, to have tools on you at all times because they're not at your disposal. When you're traveling, you need to bring things with you. And this was a must have for doctors uh, back then. It's a very, very cool slip joint pattern. I have two different examples here uh, to show you. Obviously, you can see they come in all different sizes. All right, this one on the right is a uh, Seal Warrior from Frost Cutlery, and on the left, this is a case. Um, so they're two different sizes, and there's also two different versions of this knife. Traditionally, the knife would have a slender pen blade. Okay, this one happens to be a beautiful, I mean, phenomenal Damascus. But uh, also, a little spatula. Okay, in this design here, it's just a knife. All right, there's no spatula in here. It's just a knife blade. All right, so what makes this a doctor's knife, the spatula is pretty much a giveaway and more of a traditional uh, you know, way to, to make this knife, to add that spatula. I think it, it definitely makes it more of a doctor's knife than this. But what actually distinguishes this from other different patterns is the, uh, the shape and size of the bolsters and the knife in general. So when you look at this closed, it's a very squared off or rectangular knife. Okay, the top bolster is almost always squared with a little bit of roundness towards the top. And oftentimes you'll see that it's also canted uh, on an angle here as well. It's on both of these knives, you can see that. A little more distinguished on the case here. But even more so, or more important, that makes this a doctor's knife or a physician's knife, is the fact that the bottom bolsters, okay, and the bottom of the knife entirely, is flat, completely flat. So you can see we have just a rectangle bolster. Very simple, very squared off, but the bottom is completely flat. That is on both of these knives, and every doctor's knife you're ever going to see, completely flat bottom. And the reason for this was, you know, what they use the knives for. These were doctor's knives. Mainly what they're dealing with is medications, okay, uh, and also different concoctions. Now, the bottom of these um, bolsters and the bottom of the knife itself is flat because it was uh, used to crush pills into a powder form. Oftentimes they would use pill medications, but they would crush into a powder form and then mix it in with a liquid like water so a patient can drink it as opposed to taking pills. A lot of people have a problem taking pills, especially if they're larger. That's why these were also called the pill buster pattern, okay, because you use the bottom to bust up pills. Um, the spatula itself had a lot of different purposes. Let me put this knife away for a second. The spatula was used uh, to count pills all the time. And even pharmacists today use plastic spatulas to do this. Where they'll have a tray of pills and they'll use the spatula to basically move them over as they're counting. They could divide them, separate them, count with that. Uh, the spatula was also used to mix concoctions. All right, so if you're putting a uh, powdered pill or medication into a drink, you can use this as a stir. Um, you know, you have the obvious uh, purpose of if someone wants to look in your throat, doctor would, you know, ah, and they push, they use this as a depressor on your tongue to push your tongue down a little bit so they can see back in your throat better. Uh, you know, a multitude of different reasons to use that spatula. It's not sharp in any way. It's just the same shape and almost every single time there's a cutout on both sides here. Okay, maybe for a finger rest, depending on whatever they're doing. Um, more than likely just to rest your finger here while they're counting them out, the pills and stuff like that. So super cool design. You know, these are both great examples of doctor's knives. The blades themselves are long and slender. This was just an everyday carry type knife for a doctor, cutting open packages, maybe, you know, cutting different uh, lengths of, um, you know, rope and twine and stuff like that. But it was also slender because they were cutting out medications and pills. So super cool, very interesting, very historic uh, pattern. Both of these knives were gifts to me, and I want to just take a second to say thank you very much to the people who sent them. They know who they are. It means a great deal to me. You guys know I'm, I'm huge into um, all kinds of slip joint patterns. I love a bunch of them, but, you know, I'm starting to really, really like these doctor's knives now, and I think I'm going to start collecting the uh, doctor knife pattern of slip joint. Um, just absolutely beautiful. So two different interpretations of a very, very cool historic knife. So, and they range in price from, this knife is probably, you know, seven or eight dollars, being a steel warrior, only up to a Damascus case, I would imagine. Complete guess on this. This knife here is probably like 120 to 150 dollars, somewhere around that price range. 
but uh, beautiful knives. You can get them very cheap, all right? So if you're on a, a strict budget and you like this design, check out Bud K, check out eBay, check out Amazon. Um, you can get Frost Cutlery and, and Steel Warrior, of course, is a derivative of their company, but their Kissing Crane probably makes their own. There's a Rough Rider. Well, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys. I just think it's a really cool slip joint pattern. It's, it's very historic. Um, I love learning about things and, and teaching about things, you know, and I, you pull out a knife like this, someone may, you know, ask about it. And of course, you can give that little mini history lesson. And it's fascinating to most people. So very, very cool. So thanks for watching this video. I'm going to planning on doing more um, slip joint pattern videos in the future, just talking about their history, why they're shaped a certain way. You know, back in the day, way before, you know, all the knives we have now, um, 18th century, early 19th century, everyone had a knife on them. And depending on what you did for a living, your knife was shaped a little bit differently and it had a specific purpose. I mean, every knife cut stuff, sure, but um, some cut better than others and some have specific, uh, you know, purposes behind them. So it's interesting learning that kind of stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you very much for your time. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you soon.